welcome to Fight Club. I'm Mojo here at the Hammer. Yo. We are back in international waters, destroying the meta one episode at a time here on a leaky boat. Hammer, hit him up. What is Fight Club and what we will be doing this week on Fight Club? Absolutely. So this week are the way in interviews where we are going to be looking where we're going to have an opportunity to chat with each of our fighters and we actually have a whole new cast. So if you tuned into season one of Fight Club, we love you. Thank you. But actually, you'll notice that the fighters are actually completely new. It's a whole new crew of five fighters who are going to be joining, jumping into the fray and uh, fighting for our amusement each week. And the way that that's going to work is we are we're going to be gathering them together assigning them a random color of magic. So one of the random colors within magic, they will be getting every week and they have to brew some kind of deck around it. We do encourage things to get weird and for experimentation to occur, which maybe is a little bit tricky with, with mono colors, but we'll get there eventually because the way that it works is each contestant will be given one mono color to begin with. And then the second week, they will be given, given a second color, all chosen at random. Third week, they'll be given a third color, et cetera, et cetera, leading up to the five-color finale, where everyone will not only have access to all five colors, but they will have to use all five colors in some way in their deck. So this is also a standard event. So we're not using alchemy cards. We're not using historic. This is just standard. So the card pool is relatively limited. We want to see what people can do with those constraints and see what they can come up with. So this is going to be fun, I think. I'm really looking forward to this. And uh, so Mojo. Yes, Hammer. I'm excited, man. Are you excited? I'm excited. Not only that, but we are at that time where we go to the first fighter of the season are you ready to grill him, hammer absolutely so we have 019 the Ooh. lord of atlantis himself we are going to be diving in with him and we are going to have some fun conversations so 019 are you there can you hear me oh yeah thanks for having me dude Hi. thank you for being here yeah this Hi. is fantastic i'm really looking forward to it so so first things first grill. tell folks about yourself and where they can find you on the internet uh yeah so uh you know besides working full-time i do love to stream on twitch uh, probably about four or five days a week. I also have a small little YouTube channel that I do some MTG constructed um, content over there. You know, occasionally get some content. I would like to do it more often, honestly. Um, but yeah, uh, twitch.tv 019, O-H-O-N-E-N-I-N-E, -N -N -E, as if you were to spell out the letters and words on it, or excuse me, the words and the numbers on it. And uh, <laughs> same thing on YouTube, 019, same thing. Uh, Twitter, TikTok, all of the social medias. It's all the same. 019. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to not have my username stolen. Uh, oh. <laughs> I think anywhere. Excellent. I think anywhere, I'm, I'm, actually. <laughs> you know, All well right. done. I got to be honest. So, I had to put a. I had to put a silly number in mind to make sure that I got it everywhere. I got to appreciate appreciate the brand consistency. Well done, good sir. I think on Xbox it got sniped, but it might have just been a bot because I don't think anyone actually used the account. It's kind of yeah, sad. It's only Xbox. That's so a one nine. Are you excited <laughs> to be competing in the second season, your rookie year of Play Club? I am. I am. I, I actually have not competed in any digital format tournaments for Magic in quite some time. I do uh, quite a bit of paper, um, paper Magic, uh, my local LGS, which is a great facility. Um, I won't plug them here, but um, they have, you know, it's two stories and they have all sorts of game tables and they have like a cooler with all sorts of good food and drinks and stuff. It's a really awesome place. So I spent a lot of time there. Um, they're, of course, the WPN uh, place. They have all the promos and everything like that. It's it's really an awesome facility. So I do a lot of paper tournaments, not so much digital. Of course, we we all play the ones on Arena, all the ones that they mm -hmm. give us that we can participate in, including as the time of recording, the decathlon is going on right now. Right. Uh, and that's been a lot of fun. I think that's one of the best. You know, Arena gets a lot of flack for a lot of the content they put out, but I think this is one of the better things they've done in recent memory is the decathlon. I'm inclined right, to agree. Right. I think it's a really cool event. Yeah, and the fact that they're mixing it up so efficiently throughout the days, I think is really excellent. The, Definitely the, appreciate the, that. Yeah, the other thing I was going to say about that is um, I also love the emphasis or at least the highlighting of of uh, draft, of sealed and draft and limited mm. in general, um, because that's really my bread and, my bread and butter. Uh, every season on Arena I start out, I hit the ground running on limited. I absolutely love it. I just wish it co didn't cost so much, but uh, it, sure. it, it's definitely one of my favorite formats. Oh, that's fantastic. So building a deck with a limited amount of options is something that you're familiar with. So this is going to be, right. okay, that's interesting. You know, I don't want to come out here and say that I'm just going to wipe the floor with the uh, the competition, but I will. Uh, it's without a doubt, without a doubt that I will win this as I'm the de facto front runner on this. And that's because my deck building skills are far and away superior to anyone else uh, who's going to be running any of these uh, monocolored 
Uh, I'm net decking Supremes. I'm not sure <laughs> My uh, goodness. Shots excitement. fired. Right. <laughs> I, I love these goosebumps are from terror or excitement. Hammer, um, I hit him up. Grill him. What, with what the colors? What do you expect, actually? I'm excited. Uh, Oh, yeah. I see Gabness. Uh, yeah, what by colors only... are you hoping for? And mm -hmm. which colors are you dreading uh, out of your draw today on Fight Yeah. So I will say that uh, by default, I am a mono black player at heart. So uh, mm. the the very first time I black made it into Mythic, uh, way mm -hmm. back in the day when I think like Ixalan was just starting with back in like, because it was in beta in like 2017. Um, Mono Black and Orzov are my wheelhouse. Um, I've been playing Magic since about 1996. I think the first booster I ever bought was Ice Age. And um, my favorite decks from back in the day were Pestilence-based decks. Ooh. So I love board wipe, creature oh. destruction, sacrifice mm. elements, digging through the graveyard, um, paying life. So having to balance the resource of your life total is something that I think takes time for players to understand. So yeah, uh, Mono Black is my wheelhouse and then building outward from black so uh orzov would probably be my second favorite guild or or color side of the color wheel um occasionally rakdos although less less so and then maybe going over towards like golgari uh golgari is pretty strong and then abzan is probably one of my favorite although it's a little bit difficult to manage in arena because of our limited mana base in modern of mm. course you can really go off uh, with abzan control and stuff like that but oh, in, yeah an arena limited limited mana base it's tough but that's that's where uh, that's where i'm looking fantastic i got to say you're speaking my language by invoking pestilence that brought me back oh. those some memories that card was so much fun Nasty. oh love it absolutely love it everything is right. painful all right so you're saying in a nutshell that these two colors i'm holding in my hand black and white i should just not put them in the box right no well i mean it depends on how much uh, how much competition you want to cultivate you all put right. black in there and it's uh, it's a surefire thing let's hope by the stars <laughs> of liza and magic gods everywhere all five colors are going in are you ready oh one nine i'm ready all five are going in one two three four five right in the black box of pain destruction and hopefully not mono black because i'm gonna be fighting you if you kick my ball <laughs> i'll remember here we go guys box is shaking and we open the top i cannot see what's going on <laughs> it's a condition really here it is oh, oh it's green green Whatever. okay so Mono green, so 0-9, how do you feel about that? You mentioned Abzan being uh, one of the three color combinations you wouldn't mind going into. It doesn't sound like the route that you were hoping for to get there, but there's a possibility. You never know. So how do you feel about mono green? So uh, with the most recent sets, both of them, we had the tale of two stories, right? It was one half was everything that was black adjacent. So it was vampires, zombies, all that side of the house. And then the mm -hmm. other side was all of the werewolf stuff. So it was red, or red, green, red, or excuse me, green, white, green, red. So that other side. So I'm going to potentially, not to give away my game plan here, um, the slice I'm in the listening. middle with Golgari actually didn't get a ton of additions in any of the most recent sets that are currently in standard rotation. Uh, so not to give it away, but I think I'm going to go with a little bit more of a classic build. Um, you guys are going to see some of the old tropes. Uh, there was the recent uh, Worlds competition, and a couple of those decks made it pretty far. I think you guys can have an idea of where I'm going to go with this. Um, but there are a couple of sneaky cards yeah. that I like typically like to see in my experience with Limited and with drafting that I think uh, if my opponent is trying to play against Mono Green, are they going to be aware, by the way? Are they going to know that I have green? They are. Uh, one this week is going to be okay. public yeah. information. Okay, one so in that case, before, I'm going to... Nobody know the verses. Your pairings are one week before, but you guys get your colors now. Okay, then so in that case, what... I'm going to probably throw in a couple curveballs to uh, dodge the very obvious um, trope cards that people will typically kind of pull off the internet. Okay, so okay, what, perfect. What, what colors are you looking for to verses, and which ones do you not want to see at all as a green homebrew? So starting on the mono color week, I'm not too concerned about mono blue. In week no, no two, when they split out into Is It or Demir, uh, mm -hmm. that would be a nightmare matchup for me. But yeah. in week one, mono blue, uh, I'll absolutely raffle stomp. It won't even be close. So Ooh. blue would be an ideal matchup. White, of course, would be a nightmare matchup as well for week yeah. one. Again, though, going into week two, uh, mm -hmm. if they go build out towards Orzov, or uh let's see what else uh there's not really much in azorius if they build out towards orzov it could be a little tough with all the cleric stuff running around that that deals with mono green blue week one ideal matchup worst matchup week one mono white 
All right. Okay. So now Hammer is about to ask you the most important question of this interview and possibly even your life regarding the other competitors all at once. Hammer, hit him up with that question. So I think you, you've already answered it a little bit, but what – what are what would you like to say to your competition going into this match? So the right. other the other fighters, what would you what thoughts would you like to leave them with going into mm-hmm. this you know going into this event? You know, it's uh, I wouldn't necessarily say you need to be writing yourself a will or that uh, you'll be embarrassed and laughed out of the Magic the Gathering competitive scene for the rest of your career. But uh, I would probably after this tournament take a little time off recollect, you know, consider some other avenues. Maybe Magic's not your game. You know, Yu-Gi-Oh's, I hear Yu-Gi-Oh is a little bit easier. Maybe you should play that. Uh, but Ooh. that's my recommendation to my opponents coming into week one. Well, you, wow. heard, you heard that first. It was a 30-second, <laughs> like, writ of just damnation from 019, guys. Um, <laughs> that completes this interview with 019. Check him out at 019 in letters at Twitch here. I'm Mojo. Here's the hammer. Yo. And this is Fight Club. And if you accept these terms, 019, touch clubs. Here we go, guys. All right, guys. We have now set sail from Italy itself, guys, back in international waters on a leaky boat. And we are here with the second fighter this week, this season on Fight Club, Hammer Gorilla. All right, so Morton Kyle, welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. Tell the folks where they can find you and uh, where they can find you on the internet and a little bit about yourself. Okay, uh, thank you everyone for having me here. I'm Morton Kale. You can find me on Twitch uh, here on twitch.tv slash Morton Kale. And uh, you can also find me on Twitter on uh, hashtag Kyle Morden. I decided to join uh, the Fight Club when I first heard of it because uh, Mojo actually defeated me in a Brawl tournament and uh, <laughs> I decided that I have to take revenge, so I ran. Oh, revenge, okay. <laughs> Love so it. guys, we're here with Morton Cal. Or, like, uh, or like we say in Italy, I'm here to take my vendetta. Ooh. 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 Love, it. love it okay okay he's already coming out I'm, he, calm down come we're just as new <laughs> <All right. laughs> this is fantastic so um i don't have my notes up that's not so so good. it's um, all good what colors are you hoping for during your draw this uh interview weigh in in fight club Actually, I'm hoping to to be drawn on red. That's my favorite color. Or uh, I can use uh, black too, uh, because it's my oh. second choice. Mm. The okay. colors that I hate the most are uh, green and white, because blue for me does not exist. No. <laughs> oh, shots fired against one. blue. Love it. Everybody yeah. seems to be of, of the impression so far that blue is definitely the least favorite, which kind of makes sense when you think about it because mono blue, it's really difficult to actually close out a game and win. You can stall all day, but man, it's tough to win a game in mono blue, at least in the current standard. Um, and this is a standard event. Well, so at this right. point, 019 has been given green. So green is off the table. Nice. You don't need to worry about that. <laughs> so that's good. All right. So Mojo, are you ready to uh, ready to I draw the lead? I have to be ready. Here okay, let's do this thing. That will be removed from the box as every time we open the black box of the ship. I know, I know, Mojo. Don't mess around with the black box. If the ship goes down, we're gonna need it. I, I I'm aware of this. That's why I put all the letters in there so we can at least draw with next season. Blue, red, white, and black are all going in right here. I'm gonna shake it up. Are you ready, Morgan Kyle, for your future? From this is just week Maybe one. Go. Let's see what Maybe let's see what the week one go. first color. All right, here we go, guys. We're gonna go in, pulling it out. It's backward. It's black. It's black. Second Super. choice. Woo! Not bad. Not bad nice. at all. But that's the color you wanted. Was this the second choice? But uh, it's just fine. Yeah, you all can right. work with that. A- excellent. Yeah, you can do a lot. Black is capable of doing a lot of stuff. It's cap- well, it's capable of doing a little bit of everything just at a price which is not a bad spot to be in so fantastic it's the price that i'm willing to pay i love it right. so do you have any ideas for you know any deck ideas or anything like off the top that you might want to you know you don't need to give away all your strategies right away because you know we understand that the other fighters will be listening to this but uh 
Any ideas that you have right off the top? Are you thinking aggro? Thinking control? What, well, what actually, uh, I would. Uh, the the thing that I like about black is that you can go mid range uh, mm -hmm. with a little of discard strategy, uh, control strategy, uh, and can turn the table with the reanimation from graveyard. So I will probably move into that that direction. Fantastic. All right. So what kind of what kind of colors do you want to face? What like in your first week pairings, what are you hoping your versus and what are you dreading or fearing in a well, matchup? Well, since I'm uh, I'm black, I really wish to to play against red because oh. uh, it's my second favorite it's my favorite color and I want to to prove uh, to the the fighter who has red that uh, I'm the red. Oh okay. nice. And after, yes. and after that, uh, I wish to stomp immediately blue. Oh, wow. All right. All right. So I can appreciate that. There are a lot of things that I want and I prep for this interview that I was going to ask you. But that being said, I heard that um you have such an affiliation that it would be against my personal safety or something to talk anymore about this. I'm not quite sure. No, no, la minima idea because tu stia parlando. I <laughs> What'd you call me? <laughs> <laughs> I told you that I have no idea of what you, if, oh, okay, okay, <laughs> Of course, of course, of course not. We said nothing. All these I gotta say, wolfers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the on, a, of the Pacific. on a completely unrelated note, I do want to say you're looking very snazzy today. You're looking very oh sharp. I, yeah. I gotta say. Excellent. Excellent. Like, you're I as sharp as a sharp. Oh, yeah. You know, for the family. Of course, for, of no, course. Oh, of the grand grandfathers, <laughs> of course. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. All right, all right of course. Yeah. I, I just feel, I feel like, are you? And I'm and being cautious. Say, I'll tell you that much. Not only my grandfather, you know, all my brothers, uh, all my sisters. Uh, of course, we're family. Oh, yeah, we're all family. <laughs> You know, remember, <laughs> gotta keep it tight in the matter, family, of course. No matter what happens during this season of Fight Club, all of us are familiar, okay? No kill, no kill. <laughs> not that that's a possibility or anything, but we got. Of course not. Of course not. It's a friendly competition. This we got to yeah. ask for a favor. <laughs> remember that uh, we do not kill people. People no. just happen to die. Yeah, the bottom <laughs> of the ocean. <laughs> you right, know, guys. a little, uh, a little incident can happen to anyone. Of course, so, yeah. We're here with Morning Kyle. Find him at Morning Kyle at Twitch. He's already from Italy. Uh, Hammer, hit him up with the most important question that he has to address versus two, rather, every single fighter in Fight Club. Hammer, hit Absolutely. him up that question. Of course. So, going into this competition, you're going to be going up against four other fighters throughout the course of the coming weeks. Um, you know, starting in, starting January 15th. Tune in, Twitch.tv. And uh, we are going to be... We're going to be having some fun, of course, as you uh, battle for our amusement. What do you have to say to your competition going into this? Go, go, what do you have to say to the other fighters? Like, any kind of last thoughts that you want to leave them with on this interview? Well, actually, uh, about all the fighters uh, that I saw that will take uh, a spot in this competition, the only one who has my respect is uh, Mojo. All of the others uh, are just... Uh, how do you say that? Cockroach? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Ooh. Shots fired. I'm off the I'm off the, the dead list, right? <laughs> <laughs> For now. <laughs> All right. So everybody apparently is on a list. It's near Christmas here, guys, that we are making this recording. And Morton Cal's making a list, and he's striking it three or four or five times, guys. I'm worried. I'm worried in Fight Club here. Um, well. So... Yeah, Morton Kyle, uh, Morton Kyle, thank you so much for being here. This is absolutely fantastic. And if you accept this challenge, I do, I do. <laughs> do Touch excellent. Your uh, remember Jack. this: uh, I'm oh, not, uh, uh, I'm not with you into this challenge. You are with me into this challenge. Ooh. All right. So Love if you it. accept this challenge to commence, put your fist up into the camera for a fist bump. Let's touch no gloves. Quick. There we go. Touch yes. gloves. Well, this is Morning Cal, guys. We'll see you on Fight Club. Hello, 
and welcome back to Flight Club. We are in the studios here, currently barreling through the ice of a floating tundra that everybody knows as the Arctic Ocean and headed back into international waters. So we scoured the tip of the globe to pick up our third fighter this season here on Fight Club. Hammer, grill up. All right, so we are here with Christmas 666. Christmas, my friend, how are you doing today? And uh, if you could let the people know what you're all about and where they can find you on the internet, that'd be fantastic. Yo, hey, what's up, everybody? My name's Christmas666. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Christmas666 underscore. Uh, I stream a lot of magic, and I stream a lot of magic, and we stream a lot of magic. Um, I've been playing since 1995, so paper mm -hmm. magic is actually still a big part of my life. Uh, we talk about paper magic and look at paper cards um, on my stream from time to time, but uh, mainly also play a lot of magic arena, constructed and uh mythic ranking baby Ooh, very nice yeah all right so all right here on fight club for christmas we picked you up from the north pole and i must admit it was a chore to get in to find you let alone yeah, find I'm so, parking I'm, I'm sorry about the parking here at the north pole but my base of operations were here at the north pole you know, I, I hope you didn't get a parking ticket. Well, it's, it's, it's not so much that it was hard to find parking. Is that when we came back to the boat, somebody put a boot on it. I I don't know what happened. Uh, yeah, yeah enforcement's you, brutal up here. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how they did it, but they found a way. What's the yeah, you no, know, getting that all, getting that figured out, paying the ticket, it was a whole ordeal. But oh, we're yeah. good. We're moving again. Must have been those shifty-eyed penguins that we saw coming up here. Um, all right. Next oh, one. Christmas 666, you have been referenced as um, the meta baby, I believe, by uh, coveted streamers. Um, where, is this true, or uh, are you here on Fight Club to expand your brewery, possibly? Exactly. Um, I, I am known as a mono-colored deck player, constructed player. I like to take decks that are in the meta, but then also mm -hmm. twist and put my touch on them so i don't play strictly meta decks i do play decks i build or decks you know i take ideas from here or there make it my own and play yeah, oh yeah. Um, but yeah this um you know fight club as a brew experience i'm definitely looking forward to it and want to show my prowess as a brewer oh. i'm here to, i'm here to prove it baby love it all right so today on this interview we are actually going to be drawing your color that you're going to be starting with the first color the mono color for week one we'll expand it later on but we'll get to that when we get there right now it's all about that first color yep. and so right now black and green are off the table they've been chosen they're already you Take know they, or they've they've been taken they have been Go drawn ahead. it is what it is so that was going to be my question is what colors are you looking forward to the most or what colors are you dreading coming out of that box for you? I, I have probably an unexpected answer. Okay. Everyone probably wants me or thinks that I'm going to say, I hope I draw mono white. I hope I draw mono white. That's obviously my strongest uh, strongest color where I feel the most comfortable. I, don't, I hope I don't draw mono white. <gasps> I don't want this to be easy. Mono red? Hey, that's, I mean, that's, you know, a lot of people rag on mono red as, oh, it's an easy color to play. Yeah, it's, a, it's an aggressive, strong color. I'm also hoping I don't draw mono red. Give me the blue, baby. That's why I'm wearing this blue blue bandana. So the other, my, the other my opponents, my opponents need all the help they can get. Give me blue, the weakest color in in this current standard meta. Give so me the all, weakest color to give my opponents. They need all the advantage they can get. <laughs> I, I can't. I, I can't believe this, this is what's coming out of, of your mouth into the my Give me the here. blue. Like, uh, Give all me right. the blue. You know Without further ado, we are gonna put these three colors in here. We have red, white, and blue. Let's do it, baby. And all right. Into the black box of death, destruction, prosperity, and magic. Drum roll. Christmas, are you ready for your color of fight club? He wants blue. I want white. Let's see what happens. <laughs> uh, it's brown. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm just kidding. Holy cow. It's, it's Deckmaster. Ready? Yeah. I'm, I'm excited. Are you excited? It's white. Yeah, we do. Oh, my goodness. We it up. What? Wow. All right. And so for our viewers at home, Christmas is a well-known oh. mono white player oh, on the oh, internet. Oh, His oh, specialty, in fact. Oh no! Everybody oh no! 
baby. It's over, baby. It's over, baby. It's over, baby. You were ready for this. Like, you were bored for this. Oh, my God. We got him. We got him. You're oh. you, you are satisfied. <laughs> I know you want it blue. I mean, I, there's no redo. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll take the advantage. You know, I mean, now my opponent should just be even more afraid of what's about to happen to him. Oh, no. He's waiting. It's going to be a white Christmas this season. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> wow. Okay. One. So if we're for round one, exactly. Well, you will have access to white throughout the course of the tournament. So you will have access to a lot of those cards. That, oh, yeah. Baby. So we're going to, we're going to oh, add baby. colors to it as oh, we go. Baby. And you will be expected to use those colors, but white is always going to be in the toolbox. So yeah, that's I, well, I, I, well I'm, done. I'm, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. So Christmas. Mojo, what? don't look so disappointed. Don't be shaking your head. <laughs> I just knew you're, you're the one who happen. random. You're the one who randomly threw it. Don't be shaking your head. <laughs> I, there's no collusion that I know of, guys, unless there's little men living inside this box here. I <laughs> knew this from before we started any of the interviews that you were uh, being white. Something's told me. I don't know. I don't know. No, I'm, maybe, I'm yeah, maybe or not. it's a little bit of destiny. But... What kind of decks, or what, kind, what colors are you looking forward to fighting during uh, uh, week one in Fight Club? And which ones are kind of a weakness for amount of white? Okay, so obviously it depends on the brew brew, you know, so uh, hmm. really the only color that I would have even any kind of ad, uh, adversity coming into or worry about playing would be mono black. Every, oh. other, color would just, every other color would just be a stomp fest. Um, so mo mono green could be a problem if they're playing super aggro and get a lot of creatures and then have fight spells. Mm -hmm. Um... Mono red, I'm not too worried about. Uh, and I think 019 is black. Um, is is black? Actually, and, uh, 019 is green. Morden Kale is black. Oh, yeah. Morden Kale. Okay, the yeah, yeah Morden Kale is black. So I'm I'm also I'm also typically an aggro player. So I'm flipping a okay. I'm flipping a coin in my head, and of course, you know, I've got time to strategize and you know brew a new deck here coming up before the final. But do I? I'm, I'm trying to think. Do I want to stay aggro, or do I want to flip the script and go more oh. mid range or control with it? Mm. Well, and that's if anyone I, knows, if I go the, aggro, means and now to white. It's it's this man up here in the top right corner. Yeah, guys. look at him. So if I, if I, if I stick cards. with an aggro, yeah, if I stick with an aggro strategy, um, anything that's heavy on removal. That's why I said black would be one of the toughest matchups, probably. But again, this is Fight Club. This is brew versus brew. It's not meta on meta, meta, meta. So mm -hmm. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be building. But, <laughs> mono, but those are the two colors I would be most worried, not worried about, but that have the best chance against me. That We'll put it that there way. Right. They have okay. the best chance against me because those are the you know two heavy removal decks. Mono Red does have removal, but not good enough removal. Trust All me. right, so <laughs> there you have it, guys. It's an early Christmas miracle, as you can say. Yeah, that was purely magical. That he's gonna white the lights here on season one. We white it up, Fight Club. All right, season now, two of Fight Club, as a matter of fact. I'm living in the past. Hammer, it's all good. <laughs> it is now that moment. I don't even. Indeed. I, I don't even know what to say. So hopefully Christmas knows what to say. Hammer, hit him up with the most important question of this interview. All right, Christmas. Mm -hmm. So going into this, this is going to be a multi-week competition where you're going to be facing off against four other streamers. What words do you want to leave them with going into this competition? Oh, yo, just get ready for the pain. Because we're the starting pain. off week one and I already have white. Yo, I've already got the belt too. I've already got the belt too, baby. Are we? Is this backward? Is this like a, a, the whole interview's in reverse? I'm calling it now. I'm calling it now, baby. <laughs> wow. I've got the championship belt already before we started. Message to my opponents: Come take it from me. From mm. his cold Christmas hands, he says. All right, Christmas. So if you accept this invitation in the Fight Club and the colors you've been presented, touch gloves. Let's go, baby. 
Hello and welcome back to the studios on Fight Club. At this moment, guys, we are currently driving our boat through the New Mexico deserts. Yes, we strapped wheels again onto the big international ocean liner, cruising as fast as we can away from Area 51. Um, we are heading back into the ocean here, guys, towards international waters, as we are here with the fourth fighter of this season on Fight Club, straight out of the military base center research lab himself, we've acquired a rare special cargo. Hammer, Gorilla. All right, so we are with the one and only Winnetog. Winnetog, thank you so much for joining us. And I got to just ask you, where can people find you on the internet? What can they expect to find when they get there? Uh, well, I have a Twitch stream on P. Akeley, and I'm also on Twitter on No Foolin' League and mm. Peter Akeley. Uh, Fantastic. That's my whole name. And uh, I'm really excited to be here, guys. Honestly, I appreciate you guys breaking me out of that jail. You know, <laughs> of course, <laughs> took some Absolutely. work. <laughs> it was quite the undertaking. You know, that's maybe uh, maybe a special for another time on the YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You, you'll be surprised <laughs> how many lasers are in the, uh, an entrance way to a facility. I don't. Know. Yeah, when they, when they say maximum security, they're not fooling around. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. All right, but yeah, we got you now. Uh, we're on our way out, and we're we're driving as fast as we possibly can because I don't want to look back there and see what's following us. But uh, yeah. all right, so th thank you, Winnetog. Appreciate that very very much. So right now, going into this challenge, there are a couple of colors that have already been selected. In fact, there are only two left. We've got blue, and we've got red. So knowing that the challenge is going to be to come up with a unique, interesting brew around one of those colors, and then you're going to be competing with other fighters using that brew, what what color are you hoping to draw out of the, or hoping will be drawn out of the box today? I'm honestly completely split. I don't mind either one. I think mono red is probably better than mono blue, but I'm perfectly, I have enough collection right now that I could build a pretty nasty mono blue deck and be happy with it. I was really trying to avoid mono green as a launch point. Uh, I don't have green cards on Arena right now, so mm. that's been a drag. Well, let's hope that's last. That would be a challenge. Yeah, <laughs> that would be a challenge. All right. Yeah, I mean, gotcha. I get the historic stuff, but all the standards, I'm boned. All right, so we are here about to throw in the blue and red colors. Are you ready for your fate on the future this season here in Fight Club with a dog? Aye, yes, aye. Let's We're launch off, blast off here with this wookie of a master crafter here. Blue and red are going in. The box is sealed. Oh, uh, come on. All right, Happy what life day. What do you think day. it's going to be? Happy life day. Happy life day. I think I'm going to get red. So, I think I'm going to get red. It's dreading blue. It's been referred as the lemon of the colors from mono. Let's so see. yeah, so far the general consensus has been not blue, not blue, not blue by all of our fighters. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if our extraterrestrial, extra special brewer here lives up to the fate and it has been drawn. It's blue. It's blue. All right. So you're saying oh, that you feel okay. So you're all right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna be fine. All right, fantastic. So do you have any ideas for what kind of blue deck you're gonna be putting together for this challenge? 100%. There will be yes, four dragon turtles. Yes, I can promise you that. Yes! <laughs> You'll love I'm to see it. I'm a huge dragon turtle fan. He's my favorite blue dragon rare turtle right now, will honestly. have his day. I'm going to have Planeswalker. I'm going to have a key. I'm going to have two keys. Maybe three. Three key, keys? That's alchemy key? You like know, moon silver. <laughs> No, we're actually going to be going standard. It's actually going to be a standard going? challenge. It's standard, yep. It's standard. Yeah, it's going to be I, I standard, oh, not alchemy. Oh, 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 oh. We've got a lot worse. We've got a lot worse. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I understand, guys. No, it's all good. Yeah, it's all good. So, what? No, I, do you have any ideas no, besides Bane Turtle? And what do you not want to fight against in the first week of uh, Fight Club here? <laughs> Mono Green is going to stop me every they, single they call game, it no matter what happens. <laughs> Mono green uh, is kind of stompy. That is how that is its a real problem. Okay, that's fair. Uh, now to be I, I fair, think the strongest deck monocolor wise is okay. probably black. This mm. would be a, this would be a rough. Anything honest, I think all of them. Uh, it, it's an uphill battle. It really is. Back to the yeah. shoot for the stars, fam. That's what I gotta say for you. 
It's true, but at the end of the day, it's important to remember, Blue has some of the major bugaboos in the format right now. We've got Fading Hope, we've got Divide by Zero, Allrun's Epiphany, dare I mention it, is available, You're as fair. is Hellbreaker Horror, and Leer. <laughs> so, it's one of the, it's easy to look at Blue and go, oh man, how can I possibly win with Blue, but Blue has some powerhouse cards right now, so I'm sure you'll come up with something tasty, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Definitely, and I'm excited to launch off with blue because that's a fine start point. I can go any color from there and be happy with All blue. right. So that's that true. Blue makes an excellent support color. Talk, and you, you, if you are um, ready, Hammer, for the most important question uh, translated into your native tongue. I don't know, lizard person, Wookiee, I'm not sure yet. The scientists are still trying to figure that out. Hammer, hit him up with his, his question of this interview. All right, so the most important question we ask all these fighters. Going into this event, they're going to be it's going to be a multi-week competition. You've got four other competitors that you're going up against. What words, what thoughts do you want to leave them with for them to prepare or maybe just stew on a little bit going into this competition? I, I just would like them to know that it would be very rude of them to beat me. And, you know, I think that Magic is a nice, polite game. And when people beat me, it's it's not nice. I mean, I ripped a man's har arms off one time. But, I mean, that was chess. But you understand where I'm going. I, I'm I'm torn, honestly, here with the, the cross <laughs> in motion. It's like, it's like, don't hurt me. I'm gonna eat you. I don't understand you. <laughs> so Pretty what much, you're saying yeah. is, let the Wookie win. Yeah, that'd Understood. be that'd be nice. You know, go ahead and scoop him up. Let sleeping Wookies lie here, guys. So win a talk. If you choose to accept this invitation on a coveted spot as a fourth fighter here on Fight Club, touch gloves to the screen. Hammer, hit us up. This is the kind of action you can find only on Fight Club. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. All right, hello and welcome back to Fight Club. Currently, we are back eluding a fleet of Canadian pirates. Yes, we are now leaving the shores in the national waters from the hills of Vancouver. We are live here with the man, the myth, the mythic legend rare of a hero, Hammer Grilla. All right, and we are here with Damien F-16. Damien, welcome, or should I call you Captain Canada? Which would you prefer? Uh, well, uh, either is fine. I mean, my, my ring name. Captain Canada it has to be respected, but outside the ring, of course. I mean, my friends, you, of course, Damien F-16, thank you for having me. Fantastic. Thank you for being oh, here. Boy. We appreciate it very, very much. Now, if you could tell the folks a, a little bit about yourself and where they can find you on the internet, we'd appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, on Twitch, Damien F-16. We stream almost every single day. We streamed an entire year every single day. We just wrapped that up recently. So stream a lot of magic, stream a lot of other games, uh, Damien F-16 on Twitch and YouTube, Damien F-16 as well. Fantastic. Thank you so much. All right. All right. So we are here now. We're about to, uh, are you ready to um, receive your color for this second season here on Fight Club? Oh, I'm ready, Daddy. Show it to me. <laughs> I'm so right. excited. And, uh, I'm fanta that's fantastic. Now, we know what we know what you're going to get. And the folks at home, if they've been paying attention to these interviews, they know what you're going to get to by process of elimination. But thank you for, you know, kind of playing along as we as we keep the suspense high what color are you hoping for stop that teasing box? me i want blue just give me blue <laughs> one time no nope, not a lot of people know this but canada captain canada red of course being uh you know our official color however i'm a closet blue player oh, oh is that oh, so okay interesting yes. interesting you know, we're working through it. My parents weren't too happy to hear that, but uh, as a Canadian, they, they thought I would just be <laughs> signing mountains all day and, you know, playing one drops. But uh, I like drawing cards. I like playing giant, uninteractable spells and um, <laughs> losing to aggro. So, yeah, blue, please. I'm glad, you, I'm glad to be a part of your uh, magic color reveal party here. Thank uh, you. Aaron yes. Yes. Yeah. No uh, fireworks, though. It's been a very dry season. No, no. Oh, of course. Of course. Way. Okay. Hammer, have you seen the black box? Um, the pirates must have gotten it. Uh oh, no. Did the pirates get a hold of the black yeah, box? Well, I guess we'll never know your color. <laughs> My All right. Well, thank you for joining, wait, joining us. No. On the <laughs> I get to play artifacts? Color? No. <laughs> yeah. Mono brown? Oh, God, God, oh. with that Mono one. brown. That would be fantastic. If you could. I can do, if you, yeah. 
If you could pull that off in the current standard environment, I, I, I would be I, amazed. I'm I not gonna find, lie. I did find a clue. Oh yeah, it's, it's standard, um, right? It's standard. This is yeah. This is standard, not alchemy as, as well. We don't have access to those cards yeah, either. Yeah. So yeah. The players, Never mind. the black box guys. I, there's, I found a clue though. There's one. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any more. Well, well hold on. There, there was only one color left, right? So yeah, yeah we don't need to draw it. We'll be okay. You don't need to draw. I found a blue piece. Wait, don't you found a blue piece. Me. Are you saying However, it's blue? It's, it's a clue. I it's a clue, clue to the, uh, the it's to the, the real color. color. It's a clue. Oh, okay. Here's your hint. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. But now I'm confused. Are you telling me I'm blue or not? <laughs> no, you're not. Did blue. I? No. No, I'm you're not. not. Blue's, okay. blue's already been drawn. Blue yeah, has already been drawn. Unfortunately, <laughs> sorry to tease you like that. I think the, the so. Really took the. Box. That's the kind of pirate. Oh, that's okay. Is, I guess that's okay, Mojo. That's okay. So, without further ado. Yep, we do know your yes. color. We are happy yeah. to reveal it. So we were we were initially going to draw it out of the box. Yep, yeah, until the pirates took it. So it's it's interesting Blame that you make the comparison red. between blue and red. Uh oh. Yep. Because your color is in fact red. Red, red. mono red. Mono Canada red. Number one. Look at <laughs> 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 yes. It's not, it's not, <laughs> I knew it. It's not big really people. This was yep. not scripted. I had no idea. That's true. Uh, I, I was going to be red. So. There's no collusion whatsoever. Um, this was his hint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's you, opposite I found, day. I found it very interesting, too, because a lot of our competitors, when we went for the drawing, they were saying, I want anything but blue. That's been yeah. the, the general consensus. Wow. Um, well, yeah. after hearing that, I am confident I'm going to smash these other players. If they don't know that blue's the best color, well, this tournament's already in the bag. Ooh. All right. Wow. I'm here to... I'm, I'm going to be the red dude. I'm going to be the fun police. Is that what you're telling me? It's going to be all one drops and burn spells. People are going to hate me. I'm going to be a bad guy here, I think. Which no, I was like. going to be my next That was going to be my next question is what what are there any particular cards or strategies that you're going to aim for? I, and uh, oh, yeah. I mean oh, mono yeah. red. I mean, it sounds like it's yeah. 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 It builds itself. I just, all, all the all the one drops, all the burn spells, 22 lands, maybe 20. I don't know. I'll go as low as I can. 21 if I can. I don't know. And then this is being played on Arena. You might be able to go with 12, and yeah, you might still be. Uh, yeah. oh, is this best of one or best of three, right? Best it's best three. of three. Best of three. There good, will be sideboarding. Good. Yep. Good, good, good. Real Absolutely. Magic. I like that. So, Ooh, there's going to be a lot of ups and downs here. And I know, are you excited to be on this season of Fight Club? Well, yes, for a couple of reasons. First, All right. I, I saw the last season of Fight Club, and uh, oh. while the production value is through the roof, those deck lists left a little something to be desired. So that, we're going to be coming in here. Up. We're going to be, a, a, I'm going to be excited to put on a clinic, a mono red yeah. show off clinic. I'm going to show all these people how to build a proper deck, how to smash, you know, hopefully people out there are taking notes. Captain Canada is going to, going to give people a little workshop on, uh, on, on all magic. Right. That said, I'll probably lose every single match. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> The other factor that's definitely worth noting is this is going to be a color that you have access to for the remainder of the tournament. Mm -hmm. We're going to be oh, adding true. colors to it. And so as a jumping off point, how do you feel about red? Actually, okay, in all seriousness, uh, mm -hmm. I like it because red obviously can be super aggressive. Pair it with anything else, and it's it's the core of your aggressive deck, whether it's red-black or, or red-blue or whatever. But also, yeah, you could flip it and play like a controlling blue-red deck, a controlling, you know, uh, uh, well... Yeah, red blue is really the only combination. Everything else, red white, red green, red black is probably going to be super aggressive. But like, yeah, if my second color was blue or something, I could easily see be, uh, see transitioning into something like uh, you know blue red controlling type deck. That's where I want to end up. I, I even though it's probably wrong, I, I bet you for a format <laughs> like this, it's better to just be uh, mono red, all in on on you know you don't want to be a control deck in an unknown format when you don't know what you're going to be playing against. <laughs> That said, I do love playing control decks, so uh, I'm going to try, as the colors start coming, I'm going to try and angle. I don't know, maybe I'll even try and build a mono-red control deck. I, I have ideas. Yep. Uh, there are cards that, you know, I, I, I know other friends of mine have experimented with, so we'll see. But, um, yeah, red's a good starting off point. You can go aggressive, you can go controlling. Yeah, it's a good support color, so, right, or main so color. Uh, that brings us to the last question that um, the most probably important question that Captain Canada has ever been asked on this ship, at least. Uh, Hammer, hit him up with his most important question right there. All right. Maple syrup so or poutine? No? Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. Maple syrup or honey. What's the. No. Right. Um, uh, 
going into this competition, mm -hmm. there are going to be four other streamers, four other competitors that you're going up against. What thoughts do you want to leave them with as they prepare their decks and get ready to face off potentially against you here in week one of Fight Club? <laughs> well, I want all my competitors to understand as a Canadian, mm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but we're going to have to, it's going to be ugly. And uh, I just don't want you to have any hard feelings. Um, we're all going to fight fair. It's going to be, you know, keep the gloves up, but just don't be angry when uh, you lose to the red tide. Okay, it's impossible oh, to stop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, not, 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 not the Russia, like, communist Soviet Union. The Canadian, you know what I'm saying. The Canadian I red tide. You know what we I got mean. you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. <laughs> the proper Canadian <laughs> celery. I love it. Yeah. I know. So, well played. If you accept yeah. this invitation on the second season and the fifth and final fighter of Fight Club, touch gloves, family. Boom. Let's get in See there. See you in the arena. Love it.